All right. Um, uh, it's a little noisy. Uh, if I just put it closer to you, and uh, if you just speak loudly, I guess is. Uh, I'll try. Thanks. All right. Um, all right. That should be good. Okay, so uh, what's your name and how are you involved in Invisible Children? Oh, my name is David Ochido and um, I'm a roadie with Invisible Children and I, I got involved from Uganda. They work in Uganda where I come from, so I just saw the impact of reading on the ground um, by paying students to school and uh, rebuilding schools that have been devastated by the war. So I felt like I needed to do something, so that's why I got involved with them. And why are you at uh, Fairview High School today? We are today like bringing in our new documentary called Tony, as we share the life of a boy named Tony who lived in northern Uganda just like me during the war. And, uh, how you can, a person like you, can get really involved in like you know making a difference in the world right now because this war has been going on for 25 years and nobody knows about it. So we want to bring the message to whoever cares about life so that we stand together and make a difference because it's not over, it's still going on. So we want everyone to stand up and bring it to an end. And what is Invisible Children in, in, in your own words? Well, Invisible Children, uh, it's a non-profit working in the longest running war in Africa. It is a war that has been going on for 25 years and it's still going on up to today. And uh, basically to me, the word Invisible Children is because the war has been going on. And believe me or not, you personally have never known about these children who are suffering. So they are invisible. Nobody knows about them and they are suffering there. So we want everyone to know about them and that's why we call them Invisible Children. So if you want to be part of the people who want to make them visible, you're more than welcome, and that's the reason as to why we're here. We want them to be visible. And uh, what's been your experience uh, presenting at high schools in, in the United States? Presenting at a high school has been like the greatest experience in my life because seeing you know, young people standing up to make a difference, it's really like a mind-blowing thing to me. Personally, I have never thought somebody can make a difference physically like I live in northern Uganda and as an says, invisible, I didn't know anything about the world. And now coming back here, seeing somebody around here, you know, making a difference is really so huge. And uh, what's your experience been like at Fairview today? It has been pretty good. I love seeing the students, like, you know, being committed in making a difference. And, you know, that's what we need to the rest of the world to know and everything. But, uh, What's been going on in Uganda in the past uh, few years, and what's been going on with Invisible Children? Well, in the past few years, uh, Invisible Children, with Uganda we have had the, the war, the LRA war, which has been going on, especially in the northern part of Uganda, and uh, it has been going on for 20, 20 years, and then uh, when Invisible Children, like Invisible Children, with Invisible Children, um, they brought in, like, we really, they are repaying students who suffered in the war, who didn't have any hope in life and couldn't even like think they could make it in life. They were almost giving up in life. So Invisible Children picked them up, started paying them to school. They rebuilt school that has been devastated by the war. So they're making a huge difference in northern Uganda. All right, thank you for your time.